Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Target Focus Life. My name's Steve and today we're taking a look at the TriStar Viper G2 Pro. So if you're looking for a detailed and in-depth review, you've come to the right place. Let's go! All right, shooting's fun, but sometimes your gun is a dirty bugger. And you're down under and you gotta get it cleaned up. So I like to go to, first off, the shooter's choice, shotgun, the choke tube cleaner. Spray her down with that, get her good and covered, scrape her off a little bit. And then I come back with the quick scrub, quick scrub it all out so it's nice and clean. And the last thing we're gonna do is we come back the gun's clean, we need to dry lube. Just lube it all up, hardcore lube, a lot of lube. Wipe it down, scrub it a little bit. Then we're ready to rock! Let's do this thing! All right, so the TriStar Viper G2 Pro is a newer gun. They just announced it around SHOT Show of this year. Um, excited to get my hands on one for the first time. We did review the Viper G2 last year. It was a compact model, so it wasn't ideal, but we did review that gun. And this is the Pro, so there's some updates on this. We're gonna go through all of that, give a full evaluation of this gun, give you some feedback so you can decide if this is a gun you would ever consider. TriStar sent me this gun. I'm extremely thankful that they saw the value in getting their firearms out for review and in front of people. So thank you TriStar for sending it out. Let's start off just by going through the specs, starting with MSRP. So this is the G2 Pro bronze premium this is kind of their most expensive version of the g2 pro and it has an msrp of 990. now they have one that's very similar to this only it's a silver receiver and that one comes in at 870 and then their camo versions 855 for msrp so there are some different options there i just wanted to point those out this is a 12 gauge version they do make it in a lot of different gauges going from 16 to 20 to 28 410 options so you got a lot of different variety a lot of different options this is a gas operated shotgun with a three inch chamber we'll take it apart a little bit later in this review you can see what's inside what we're working with so one of the things tristar boasts about this gun is it can handle a wide range of loads from light target loads to heavy waterfall loads we're definitely going to put that to the test today see how reliable this gun is then we'll also talk about the updates in just a second here i want to look at the weight of this on their website it says 6.8 pounds. Let's just throw it on our scale here. I'm getting just over seven pounds, seven pounds, one ounce. This is with the 28 inch barrel on it. I think there's options for a 26 inch barrel on the 20 gauge version and a 30 inch barrel on the white camo version, kind of like a snow goose hunting type gun. So a little heavier than what they advertise on the website at least on this one, no big deal, just over seven pounds. One other spec I wanna take a look at here is trigger pull. Let's just feel that trigger. Feels rather crisp, not a lot of pre-travel. Yeah, pretty crisp breaking trigger. Doesn't feel overly heavy. Let's just do the weight of the gun test. It's under seven pounds maybe not a lot i say it's between six and seven pounds let us get out the wheeler gauge give it a look see here six pounds 7.6 .6 ounces we'll give it a three pull average six pounds 0 0.8 ounces six pounds 1.2 ounces all right i see ya Six pounds, 3.2 ounces is our average. We'll see how that feels when it comes to speed shooting at the end, get a real good feel for that trigger when we're putting a lot of rounds down range on the clock. A few other specs I like to look at are dimensions of the stock. Can you make this gun fit you? I think that's a highly important element. I mean, you can have a great gun. This could be a great gun, but if you can't get it to fit you, it isn't gonna be worth buying. So length of pull on this gun is set up right now at 14 and three quarter. That's as long as this gun can get. It does have these two spacers in it. I think it came with one on there already. I added the second one. So that's as long as it can get. It can get a little bit shorter, not a ton shorter. It looks like these spacers are about three eighths with both of them put together. So you could shorten the gun by about three eighths from 14 and three quarters. So we can get a little bit shorter. 
Uh, I do notice here that the buttstock is proprietary. So replacing with the third-party buttstock would be a challenge. TriStar may have uh, additional sizes of these. I hope they do because being able to adjust that length of pull is an important factor. And maybe you can get more spacers, put some longer screws in there and adjust it that way. Now it does come with a shim kit. So I have placed some shims in there already. I need to bring it up a little bit with my long skinny neck and face. I need a gun that shoots a little bit higher. So they do have shims to affect drop and cast. I came up with it. You could have went down with it. If you are a left-handed shooter, you could change it to cast off or cast on rather um, and change that cast. So I, I think that's a must on guns like this. I'm glad TriStar did that. I was able to bring the stock up so it fits me moderately well as far as height. Uh, length is maybe a little bit short. It's not terrible. Now, the one thing I do got to say about these shims is the numbers that they put on the shims don't necessarily mean anything to me. They, there was numbers like 50 or 55, 65. I don't know what, remember what the numbers were exactly, but I don't know what that means, right? And I didn't see in their manual what that means. I didn't see it on their website. So I basically had to use my eye, look at the shim, see where they were thicker and thinner and really just figure it out. It'd be nice if TriStar had that info. You know, if you're looking to drop the gun, use this one. Some basic info like that. So that's stock dimensions, some adjustability there as far as drop and cast, a little bit on the length of pull. So now you know, if it's a gun that will fit you, this is a contender. This shotgun comes with three chokes, improved cylinder mod and full. They are flush mount chokes. As you see here is, is the Beretta Benelli mobile threads. I've already went ahead and changed it out for a Carlson's choke. And if you'd like a Carlson's choke, links in the description along with discount code. So I was just want to remind you of that. Let's dig into ergonomics. This is one of my favorite categories. This is the feel and the function of a firearm. And I think this is where TriStar really did some great things when compared to the TriStar Viper G2. This is the G2 Pro. So a few of the things that they did is they added an oversized bolt handle, which is nice, easy to get a grip on. Oversized bolt release, very easy to hit that without looking. Can even use a pinky. You can slap it, hit it. I don't know why more manufacturers don't do that. That's a no brainer. Triangular safety, on uh, the back side of the trigger group, which is exactly where I like it. They milled out, if you look here at the loading port, see how this is arced up? And they milled it out. Although there looks like there are some sharp edges right here on the inside. That needs to be filed a little bit in my opinion, but it is milled out, easier to get your hands in there and load. In fact, let's just take a look at that. Real simple to load here on the 12 gauge. I'd be curious to try the 20 gauge, see how much different that is. Yeah, because it's milled out, you don't have to get too deep. Fingers not getting caught by the lifter. Pretty simple. I wish they would have rounded these edges a little bit more, but not a huge deal. On the synthetic versions, they have over molded rubber grips. This on this bronze premium version, uh, it's just like a stippling, a texture. It's not over molded, but I do like over molded grips. So I think that's a cool addition as well. It is cut on the top of the receiver, so you could add optics on there if you would like. The finish on this gun is a gloss finish, a uh, gloss blue barrel, and looks like a Cerakoted receiver. It has a flat, yep, flat rib, flat with the receiver, with a fiber optic on the front. As you all know, I could leave the fibers, don't need it, would rather have a white dot up there than a fiber optic, but manufacturers insist on continuing to add fiber dots to grab your attention and steal it from the target. That's just my opinion. I know everyone doesn't hold that opinion, but that's my opinion. The wood looks pretty standard, like a standard grade wood, but it looks, it looks really nice. I like the finish of this gun. I think TriStar did a really nice job. Moving on to recoil and reliability. Enough talking, let's get some rounds down range see how this G2 Pro shoots. First thing we're gonna look at, we're just gonna be shooting some Federal Top Gun target loads. These are ounce and an eighth, traveling at 11.45. Let's just give it a few shots out in the air. Recoil is primarily directly back into my shoulder. Uh, no issues with that. A little bit of muzzle jump, not terrible. Oh yeah. Feels good on these light target loads. Let's see what happens when we shoot some Federal Black Cloud waterfowl loads 
ounce and a quarter, 1,450 feet per second. Take them. Woo, baby. Yeah, dead ducks. That's what we got. Take them. Okay, that one lived. That one lived. Dead duck for sure. Let's try a prairie storm. Federal prairie storm. These are traveling at 1,500 feet per second. These are gonna give us probably the most recoil. For sure, I felt that, but that was a dead pheasant. It handles recoil actually pretty well. I've shot several guns today and uh, my shoulder's a little sore and my face is a little sore from some of them. I like how this is handling the recoil. Let's take a deeper look at reliability and see how it operates. Going back to the target loads, the top guns. We're just gonna pop a few rounds from the hip here. Ready? Oh no! What are you doing? Okay, that worked just fine. Was it a fluke? Was it a fluke? Hopefully it was a fluke. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we're cooking. This is a new gun. It was clean, but we're still getting it broke in here. Okay, we're firing from the hip, cooking now over the head, do you think? You think it'll do it? It is gas operated. Let's cross our fingers. Oh, two out of three. Let's give that one more whirl. Kind of operates over the head. Let's go to a uh, black cloud. I bet this operates over the head. Oh, oh, what happened here? I didn't load. I'm gonna try a couple more loads here. Black cloud. No problem there. So on the lighter target loads, cycled really reliably from the shoulder, from the hip. A little issue over the head. That's not a huge concern. It's just a little test I like to do to kind of see where it, where it compares in the whole lineup. There's several gas guns that I do get to work over the head, but quite a few do not. So we'll continue to look at reliability throughout this video, see if we have any issues. But so far this gun is working very smoothly. If you have the TriStar Viper G2 Pro, let us know down in the comments. Let us know how it's worked for you. If you've had great results and no issues, let us know. If you've had some issues, let us know because when we share as a community, we all learn and get better together. All right, let's break this bad boy down and see what we're working with on the inside, what we got for guts. Gun is unloaded, four end cap. It's got some nice cut striations in it there. I like that. When I cleaned this gun, one thing I did notice, it was put together really tight and I had some issues getting it off. Now that could be a good thing, tight tolerances, right? It fits nice and tight, but it was a pain to get off. Yep, still hot. Okay, we're gonna let that cool down. Bolt handle, how do you come out? There we go, there we go, found it. Bolt handle out. It's got the piston right there. The bolt sits on top of that. There we go, we're down to the spring. Let's pop out a one pin design here, I love that. Thank you TriStar. Trigger nice and tight in there, look at that. Everything is apart. Now, this is a pretty standard gas operating gun. A lot of setups like this. I reviewed a gun earlier today, I won't mention it, but it had a lot more pieces. It was a similar setup, but the bolt broke apart into several pieces where you see the bolt is basically integrated with this slide. So that just fits on there. There was another metal piece that had to integrate with this. It was just kind of a pain. So I like how this is put together overall. Pretty solid looking gun, I would have to say. So let's see how quick we can put it back together. Make sure that's perfectly lined up. I had a little issue with this the other day too, getting it seated all the way back. It's pretty particular. I mean, it, I mean once it does, it kind of clicks in. It's a tight fit. It's just a little bit harder to get in there. I, I think I kind of like it because like once you click it in, you know you're in the right spot. So I like that. The bolt, it can only go one way, locks in like that. Easy enough. Bolt slides in, that was fairly simple. Getting a good amount of carbon buildup. That is what you will get in a gas gun. Nothing unusual there. Okay, now I'm gonna slide the piston into the cylinder there. Still hot, still hot. There we go. Now, let's see if I can get this in. This was a little bit of an issue the other day, but just a little love, firmly press it down. We're back together. We're hot to try. This Viper G2 Pro 
is itching for some more rounds downrange. It is time, ladies and gentlemen, that we get into some speed shooting. We're putting this gun on the clock, not only to see how fast it can shoot, but we wanna see when it all comes together, when we're on the clock, when we're rushing, mount, pointability, balance, trigger, controls. I'm gonna be shooting a lot and get a really good feel for this gun and then give you my final thoughts. Ooh, not a bad start. One, two, seven. I feel like my splits weren't all that great. A 2-0 and a 2-2. No, that's slow. Slow splits, we'll get faster. I am shooting a light mod choke, which is definitely not ideal at this distance. But, oh well. I may have thrown a little early. Split still felt slow. Yeah, it was a 2-1 and a 2-6. Total time, 1-1-3, but I cheated, threw early. How could you have three clays that close and not hit a single one? Those are powdered. 2-2 two -two and a 2-0 split. Fast is not the name of the game. Come on. That was fast, faster. I did miss one. 2-0 and a 18. I am really struggling to shoot this gun fast and I'm not sure why because like recoil feels manageable. I'm not really having any issues with triggers. I, I don't know what the issue is, to be honest with you. I'm just not shooting it extremely fast. There it is. That was the one. Threw a little bit early. I'm not gonna get hung up on that. I don't think a .9 is really uh, accurate. But I had a 1.9 to 1.6 split. So a 1.6 split is actually pretty darn good. I'm happy with that. 1.9's all right. But I was kind of consistently getting 2.0, 2.2 splits. Really struggled to shoot it fast at first. I put a lot of rounds through it. Obviously, we don't show you all the clips when I'm out here shooting. That would be boring. But I like to put quite a few rounds down range. The gun is super hot. Recoil was very manageable on the, on the fast shooting. Trigger didn't give me really any issues. I like the gun overall. I, I think it's a very fine looking gun, good function to the gun, good controls, has some decent adjustability in the stock. I like it. I like it a lot. Few nitpick things, but nothing huge stands out to me on this gun that would be a deal breaker. Um, for some reason though, I didn't shoot speed shooting extremely well, but I was shooting on the machine. It just, it felt very, very natural, which is how most of you will probably end up shooting, not speed shooting, right? So uh, just that's a quick look at the TriStar Viper G2 Pro. Would love to know your thoughts down in the comments. Again, if you have this gun, let us know your experience. Thanks so much for watching guys. Remember whether you're in the field or in life, you're only gonna hit those shots here laser focused on. So live target focus. See ya.